coronavirus pandemic has caused many end-of-school year rites to be replaced with virtual, drive-in, and other alternative ceremonies. However, whether this occasion is only live-streamed, it doesn't change the idea that this moving-up ceremony is a celebration to every individual who worked hard and has successfully attained his goal even amidst the pandemic. Good morning and welcome to the second virtual moving up ceremony of the Angeles City Science High School, Batch 2020-2021, with the theme, Strengthening the Quality of Education Amid the COVID-19 Pandemic. Let us take pride in the singing of our Philippine National Anthem. Join us as we offer our praises and thanksgiving to our Lord through a prayer to be led by Princess Kaila Sagum of Grade 10 Hubble. This will be followed by the Dep Ed Region 3 hymn and the Dep Ed Angeles City hymn. Let us bow our heads and feel the presence of the Lord. Dear Lord, our Father, how wonderful are the works of your hands. As we gather here today to celebrate a step forward into new places with new people and new experiences. Let us not forget the blessings that follow behind us. Bless our school, which has given us a safe place to learn and a strong foundation to build upon as we take this next step into your world. We thank you for our teachers and the administration who have richly loved and cared for us, even at our worst. Our overwhelming gratitude for your provision to our respective families who have cheered us on to the finish line of our junior high school journey, stood by our side and supported us all the way through all our needs. And on this day, we especially thank you for the bonds that created friendships and another family. For the hardships and tears we endured together side by side, and for your love which has been made evident through these relationships, we will carry with us beyond these walls. Lord, we thank you for the wisdom that we can use to not only bless others, but also to bring glory to your name. Please foster within us a continued passion for learning as we go along the long road. We raise to you this prayer to help keep our hearts open and observe the beauty around us amidst this pandemic. In this, we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Again, welcome to the second virtual moving up ceremony of the Angela City Science High School. At this juncture, Alexa Ray Guanlao from Grade 10 Section Hawking will deliver the welcome remarks. Walt Disney once said, We keep moving forward, opening new doors, and doing new things because we're curious. And curiosity keeps leading us down new paths. To our Honorable School Principal, Ma'am Kazarina L. David, to the dedicated teachers of Angeles City Science High School, to my fellow completers, parents, friends, ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant day to all of you. It is indeed a pleasure to welcome each one of you to this most awaited moment of the 10th graders. Today is a special day as we will virtually witness and acknowledge the achievements and efforts of one another in this school year. School year 2020 to 2021 was a very challenging year for everyone. It was like a roller coaster ride for us as we continued to face new and unfamiliar life situations. At first, we were very hesitant about the things that we do, and in fact, we were struggling emotionally and mentally. Every day, we continued to face our gadgets, not to browse our social media and play video games, but rather to take synchronous classes and accomplish schoolworks online. Moreover, we also encounter uncontrollable issues such as poor internet connection, power interruption, electronic failure, technical issues, and so on. This year is undeniably a tough time for us students, but those challenges and drastic changes didn't become a hindrance Instead, they gave us the strength to strive more for us to reach our goals and they molded us to be better as we are today. We students were not the only ones who had a rough time in this new normal education, not to mention the teachers and parents who continuously exerted their hard work, dedication, and support along the way just for us to carry on our education. But despite the negative circumstances brought by the pandemic, we should never stop dreaming and achieving. We should still be optimistic and always look forward to the positive side as we step up to a new chapter of our life, which will help us achieve the success that we desire. Truly, success will not be possible without the people who help us along our journey. Thank you to our dear parents who have put their heroic efforts just to get us to this point in our lives. To our passionate teachers, we thank you for being our second parents and for your dedication to teaching and guiding us along the way. Lastly, to our Creator and Almighty God, we thank you for providing us more than we could ever imagine, and all of the highest glory is ascribed to you, Lord. And now, we are glad that we made it. As we step forward to a new chapter of our life, we shall continue to strive for progress and reach greater heights. Let us overcome the challenges and hurdles as we walk through our journey. Always keep in mind that we have what it takes to be successful in life. Once again, welcome and have a great day.
Let us all together listen to the message of the school's division superintendent of the Division of Angeles City, Dr. Maria Irene P. Tamayo. Congratulations to the graduates and completers of school year 2020-2021. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, you have successfully entered in the words of our DepEd Secretary, Leonor Magdolis Priones, a brave new world. And as I have said a while ago, you had successfully emerged from that journey victoriously. Instead of going to your schools and participating actively in classroom interactions for this school year, you have to stay in the confines of your homes and engage in distance learning modality. It was a difficult adjustment on your part, but still, you persevered in order to achieve your dreams of getting an education and achieving your goals in life. So in the process, as you look back to this school year, which is indeed full of trials and challenges, you will realize that you have achieved or you have accomplished three important values and these are patience, perseverance, and productivity. It has been very difficult for you answering your modules or learning activity sheets in all your subjects almost every day. But still, armed with your patience, you have given all your best so that you will fulfill the different responsibilities attributed to your being a learner in the different subject areas. There are times I know that you wanted to give up. There are issues like your physical health, your family's physical health, and even your daily subsistence, but you never gave up. Your perseverance pushed you to make your dreams more reachable, to make your dreams more attainable, and that is to continue your education in spite of this health crisis. And as you look back at the school year that has passed, you will realize that in spite of everything, it has been a very productive one. You have completed your modules or learning activity sheets. You have achieved mastery of competencies in the different subject areas. You gained new knowledge. You acquired new skills. And you imbibed values that will make you better persons and better citizens in the future. So my dear graduates and completers, I say carry on. Carry on in achieving your dreams, no matter how difficult life seems to be. Carry on until your dreams become a reality. And when your dreams do become a reality, do not forget the values that your teachers and your alma mater had taught to you. Being makachos, makatao, makabansa, and makakalikasan. Again, congratulations, my dear graduates and completers. May God bless you on the next phase of your journey. Before we proceed to the highlight of this virtual program, allow me to introduce the teaching and the non-teaching staff of the Angeles City Science High School. The administrative staff headed by our school principal, Madam Kazarina L. David. The English department led by Mrs. Rowena S. Pangilinan. The math department led by Ms. Mylene G. Balagtas. Science department led by Mrs. Lolita G. Bautista. The Filipino department with their subject coordinator, Mrs. Leslie A. Angeles. The Araling Panlipunan Department led by Mr. Alan N. Reyes. 
Edukasyon sa Pagpapakatao Department with Ms. Regina Minyon C. Bognot as the Subject Coordinator. ICT Department led by Mrs. Anne Rose Z. De Leon. Last but not the least, the MAPE Department led by Dr. Raymil B. Zamora. We will now proceed to the highlights of this virtual celebration. Presentation and awarding of the Computers of the Angela City Science High School, Batch 2020-2021. We begin with the class of Grade 10 Hale, under the advisorship of yours truly, Sandy Fatima C. The Computers of Grade 10 Hale. Nigel Roland C. Anunciacion with high honors. Juan Pablo Segundo M. Bonana with honors. Xian Z. De Luna with honors. Orville Enzo C. Felix with high honors. Jason Ryan and Levi with honors. Daniel Fred M. Laxoy with high honors. Kohan P. Lee with high honors. Erin Leon J. Loredo with honors. Ronald Andre D. Lorenzo with high honors. Nathan S. Campo with high honors. Kelvin Cluey and Halak with high honor. Paulo Alejandro Tesoro and Patio with high honor. Aurelio Rudolph O. Rodriguez with high honor. Herins INB Sagmit with high honor. Caleb Franz B. Soliman with high honors. Alphonse G. Twazon with high honors. Neil Andrew V. Yabot. Julian Alfea P. Arevalo with high honors. Kyle Justin L. Ayap with high honors. Jenna Marie P. Batan with high honors. Roselle Leanne B. De Jose with high honors. Kainalene Ariel S. Domingo with high honors. Clarita Clarina L. Gibbons with honors. Hannah Akisha B. Lagman with high honors. Therese Frances T. Viterio with high honors. Joy Marie Princess P. Liwanag with high honors. Charity Care H. Magtoto with high honors. Kiana M. Maniago with high honors.
Caitlin Ainsley E. Merritt with high honors. Mary and Tiffany A. Regala with high honors. Ara Jane R. Reyes with high honors. Luis Ida N. Reyes with high honors. Isabel L. Romero with high honors. Shean Adrian M. Salas with high honors. Hadley E. Sanchez with honors. Bobette Frankie D. Santos with high honors. And Catherine T. Tyre with honors. The completers of grade 10 hockey. The advisor is Karen Christine V. Henson. Josh Andre D. Aguilar with high honors. Lawrence Rico T. Bautista with high honors. Erwin Benedict B. Bogner with highest honors. Patrick E. Canlas with the highest honors. Axel Shangwan and Dia with highest honors. Vin Kendrick A. Gomez with high honors. Juan Miguel T. Labadrid with high honors. Amir Lance R. Lalu with high honors. Francois Mikhail D. Limson with high honors. Alonzo D. Mayrina with highest honors. Rain Gabriel S. Miranda with high honors. Elijah Victor M. Pandillo with high honors. John Marco P. Paras with high honors. Zachary Aaron Y. Sambao with high honors. Zion Paul C. Kiazon with high honors. Cyrus Dwayne L. Ramos with high honors. Mark Joshua C. Tayag with high honors. Sean Rydal R. Yamzon with high honors. Adrian Erich D. Alejandrino with highest honors. Belina May M. Bulata with highest honors. Kenny Jill S. Kalma with highest honors. Alexa Angeline G. David with high honors. Avira P. De Guzman with high honors. Patricia J. Q. De Jesus 
with highest honors. Alessandra Louise N. De Vera with high honors. Maria Iris Ann S. Gapus with highest honors. Alexa Ray B. Guanlao with highest honors. Rain Paula L. Giao with high honors. Arthur Nicole E. Joaquin with high honors. Alexis P. Lansangan with high honors. Athena Venus G. Makapinlak with high honors. Jean Marie M. Ocampo with high honors. Noreen Ann G. Pasamonte with highest honors. Mia Andrea D. Piazon with high honors. Raja V. Salenga with highest honors. Hannah Mosel R. Samham with highest honors. Maria Shana P. Santos with high honors. Angel Joy N. Subalise with high honors. And Stephanie Gwyneth A. Siglau with high honors. The completers of grade 10 Herschel under the advisorship of Mrs. Romina C. Kiel. Mark Janel M. Batumbakal with honors. Tyrone Lee Angelo P. Kahili with high honors. Daniel Martin G. Canlatan with high honors. David Dwayne Canlas with high honors. Carl David C. Cura with high honors. Hector Francis Sigmund C. Desanito with high honors. Joseph Emmanuel D. Gonzalez with high honors. Marcus Lee D. Luna with high honors. Toby T. Mensalvas with honors. Ivan Luis M. Ong with high honors. Miles Gabriel A. Pagaduan with high honors. Gabriel P. Penafiel with high honors. Christian Jamari R. San Esteban with honors. Charles Francis R. Santos with high honors. Catriel Sire I. Tongol. Joseph Miko G. Urquico with honors. Jabril S. Yabut with high honors. 
Ian Carla L. Ariston with high honors. Camila Erika Q. Capule with high honors. Micah Karel S. Chua with high honors. Lara Eunice F. Kapitin with high honors. Anna Francesca F. Datis with high honors. Diana Christina P. De Guzman with high honors. Cora Beyonce Q. Bison with high honors. Kylie Cassandra T. Domondon, with high honors. Hazel Ann Y. Gomez, with high honors. Casey N. Jimenez, with high honors. Sophia Andrea I. Locke with high honors. Kisha Margaret B. Manalo with high honors. Kathleen Shane J. Manuel with honors. Christine Jan A. Mercado with high honors. Sophia Isabel D. Pineda with high honors. Jaira L. Romulo with high honors. Margarita Dutrik M. Sambo with high honors. Ashley Mildred A. San Diego with high honors. And Jaisel Hannah P. Sunga with honors. The competitors of grade 10 Hubble, the advisor, Mrs. Leslie A. Angeles. John Lawrence V. Aguilion with high honors. Justin S. Aquino with high honors. Lawrence Harris P. Baga with high honors. Algen Ernest H. Benzuela with honors. Cheryl M. Bondo with honors. Gian Carlo D. Cabrera with high honors. Claire Magnus N. Calderon with high honors. Ashlon Caleb P. Calma with honors. Tommy O. Colliado with honors. John Vincent D. De Guzman with honors. Luke Orvin Gillier and Kenya. Stephen Andre D. Perillo with honors. Norley R. Kimbao with high honors. Chobinan D. Sabado 
with high honors. Marcus Andre L. Chapo with high honors. Shimuel O. Soto with high honors. Julian Federic D. Valenzuela with high honors. Casey B. Basilio with high honors. Chelsea S. Belicario with high honors. Raven Kelly C. Bognot with high honors. Ariel Ann M. Carrion with high honors. Cherise Ann V. Kayana with high honors. Lovely Irene N. Conanan with high honors. Julia Ann C. Bison Erica Angel E. Gonzalez with high honors Carol Ray Ifigeni B. Gozum with high honors Kyla Nicole L. Grajeda with high honors. Jana Lucille B. Mendoza with honors. J. Diane B. Meneses with high honors. Luis Ann M. Moloa with high honors. Angel Heart A. Ong with high honors. Elena Jana V. Rivera with high honors. Princess Kyla F. Sagum with high honors. Arian M. Sahagun with high honors. Julian Nicole M. Salvador with high honors. Patricia Nicole S. Simbahan with honors. Juliana May T. Visconde with high honors. And Cassandra Nicole M. Yuko with high honors. Let us give an encompassing applause to the completers of Batch 2020-2021. Young Hila City Science High School commends the teachers for their unwavering loyalty and service to the Department of Education. The following teachers have rendered five years in service. Mr. John A. Cayana. Ms. Jonabel L. Arnoza. Mr. Mark Albert T. Pineda. And Ms. Mary Joy G. Canlas. Loyalty and Service Awardees of more than 10 years. Ms. Joseph M. Ramirez. Mr. Alan N. Reyes. Ms. Karen Christine B. Hanson and Mrs. Raquel D. Yun. Likewise, the following will receive their loyalty and service awards for more than 15 years in service. Mrs. Sandy Fatima C. Miklan Mrs. Myla F. Gutierrez Ms. Mylene G. Balagtas 
and Ms. Roxanne Kainap ni Okaya. Following will be given the Loyalty and Service Awards for their 20 years of service in the department. Mrs. Romina C. Kilia. Mrs. Leslie A. Angeles. 25 years of Loyalty and Service Award is given to Mrs. Zenaida D. Calma and Mrs. Emily S. Romero. Mrs. Lolita G. Bautista. Last of our Loyalty and Service Awardees have rendered more than 30 years in service. Mrs. Regina Mignon C. Bogna and Mrs. Rowena S. Pangilinan. Another round of applause to the Loyalty and Service Awardees of the Department of Education. Zachary Adrian Kembao, the Supreme Student Government President, will now give his words of gratitude. To the esteemed faculty of Angeles City Science High School, to our diligent principal, Ma'am Kazarina David, to the supportive parents, fellow students, ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant morning to all. As Malcolm X once said, education is the passport to the future, and tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today. For today is a milestone for over 150 students in Angeles City Science High School as they move up in the world of senior high school and start pursuing strands for their future careers. There is no doubt that each and every one of us is destined for greatness, but none of this could have been possible without the efforts of many amazing people. I would like to express my gratitude to the constellation of inspiring individuals who have stepped out of their comfort zones and continued their crusade of educating the youth. In each Aksai student lies the knowledge and lessons inculcated by the faculty of this very school, who have aspired for excellence even in the midst of a pandemic. They are the candles that have left the path to our success. I would also like to thank the administration for being the pillars and foundation of our educational system, ensuring that each student of this very school has an equal opportunity in education. Furthermore, where would we be today without the support of our dear parents? They who have sacrificed so much, especially in these dark times. Just so we could learn, our experience in dealing with various challenges in this new learning modality became easier because of their invaluable support. This day is not just to recognize the students' achievements, but to commemorate the hard work of every individual who has contributed to the institution. And lastly, I would like to thank our Lord and Creator for keeping us safe throughout this school year. As the outgoing Supreme Student Government Chairman, I also want to extend my appreciation to you for helping us combat the volume of tasks on our shoulders. I can really say that we have surely conquered this school year. The memories we've created, the bonds we formed, is all but enough for me, my dear batchmates. To every single one of us present in this virtual event, always remember the saying in Kapampangan, Salese Murin. Thank you and God bless. At this point, we invite you to listen to the messages of the various school stakeholders of the Angela City Science High School, starting with the president of the Angela City Science High School Mother Parent Teacher Association, Engineer George Sorio, to be followed by the message from the school principal, Madam Kazarina El David, the message of the regional director, Dr. May B. Eklar. And lastly, the message to the completers of Professor Lenore Magtolis Briones, Secretary of the Department of Education.
It is with great joy and honor to join you today, our dear grade 10 learners, as you move up to the next stage to your senior high school. This school year is truly different among all the academic years of our generation. Despite all of that, all of you remain faithful to your dreams. Not even pandemic can stop you from advancing yourself to the next level. Creativity and perseverance on schoolwork, love in the family, frugality on spending, and faith in, in God made you the champion of today's culmination. To all the guardians and parents like me, we made it again successfully. May God be glorified as we continue to raise our children the best version God wanted them to be. Again, in behalf of fellow PTA, to our beloved school principal, teaching and non-teaching staff, and to all grade 10 completers, my warmest congratulations for a job well done. Keep on developing your skills and potentials and continue reaching your dreams. Your passion, commitment, and dedication are your tickets to make your dreams come true. I know you will go far and I look forward to seeing what your bright future has in store for you. Follow your dreams, for they will lead you in your right direction. My felicitations to your supportive and loving parents for being with you in your academic journey. To the batch 2021 of Aksai, prayers and blessings on your completion day and for your future. Congratulations. The school year 2020-2021 will forever be etched in the minds and hearts of every Filipino learner as the time when education took a drastic change. The classroom suddenly was no longer the physical structure in the school, but the virtual platform on the internet or a learning space at home. Teaching did not include any more the chalk and the blackboard, but distance learning activities like online classes, radio and TV-based instruction, and self-learning modules. And yes, the teacher was not only limited to sir and madam, but it also meant the learner's parents and guardians at home. COVID-19 has definitely changed the landscape of the teaching and learning process. Yet, with our collective resolve and resiliency, which is uniquely Filipino, we vowed not to let this pandemic stop us from making learning happen, from ensuring that our children get an education. Through the DepEd Basic Education Learning Continuity Plan, we operationalized and concretized our vision and mission that our pursuit of quality education must continue despite the pandemic. My dear graduates, completers, and academic awardees of school year 2020-2021, you are the products of this unique period in our nation's education history when we were faced with a tremendous challenge in our learning delivery. Difficult as it may be, you still manage to survive and overcome the hurdles and obstacles owing to your adaptability and creativity. This alone makes you winners, game changers, and trailblazers. To our school leaders, teachers, parents, and other stakeholders who continue to brave the imminent danger posed by the COVID-19 virus to their health and their lives every day, just to make sure that our children do not stop 
from learning. You are the unsung heroes and frontliners of DepEd's mantra of Sulong Edukalidad. Our dear partners in education who have given immense support to our schools, we did not only push through with the school year. We made sure that our children receive quality learning in the face of these trying times. Strengthening the quality education amid the COVID-19 pandemic is not simply about the use of various distance learning delivery modalities. It speaks about the essentials that you continuously embody, such as your generosity and dedication for education. To encapsulate it in one word, it speaks about our common goal to provide the learning opportunities for our children amidst these trying times. Many years and decades from now, our dear batch 2020-2021, when you will look back at this day of your graduation, completion ceremony or recognition day, you will most certainly remember it with the most unique memory. For one, your day will probably be recorded in perpetuity because it happened in a virtual ceremony. Please do not look at this as a scarcity, but rather as a living testimony of your ability to rise above any adversity. Congratulations! And may God continue to bless and guide you. Good day to each and everyone who is uh, attending virtually present at this time of our graduation ceremonies for our beloved and uh, very precious uh, graduates uh, for the school year which ends at this uh, time. First of all, I'd like to greet the parents and family members without whose sacrifices, whose uh, reminders, and whose participation in the learning process for our uh, graduates have resulted in this culmination uh, program. Uh, this year, your role has changed uh, drastically, where we've always thought, we've always believed that the matter of educating our children rests nearly exclusively on our teachers and our staff. This time, you parents, you family members, you who are in the households of our learners have expanded your role and contributed to this wonderful day, wherein finally, finally, our learners are graduating in this culmination exercise. So congratulations, because this year has not been very easy, has not been a, a picnic for our teachers, for our family members, as well, uh, especially the parents, mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, and all who have contributed to the uh, achievement of our learners at this time. So, maraming salamat at congratulations, parents and family members. Mas malaki ang role ninyo at this time compared to earlier graduation exercises. Secondly, I would also like to greet our teachers without whose very uh, careful uh, review and careful supervision of the work of our pupils and our learners this event would not have take would not be taking place um, at all 
And so thank you teachers, your role has also expanded in addition to seeing to it that the modules are faithfully followed, the assignments are correctly uh, implemented, and the learners are truly learning. And you have had to deal with new ways of assessing the performance also of the learners. So congratulations, teachers, for enduring, for your patience, for your love for our learners, and your willingness to engage in a way and methods of teaching which are different from those which are used to. Assessment must have been especially difficult for you, especially since you were not able to see most of the time our students in face-to-face -face, uh, meetings. And most of the meetings, of course, were virtual. We'd also like to thank the local government units for their interest, for their cooperation, and for their continuing, continuing uh, contributions to the needs of education even as our children do not go to school. Your donations of material as well as financial resources at this time are most welcome and your advice has been taken seriously not only by our teachers, by our school officials, but also by our officials in the Department of Education. We continually talk with local government units, especially in times of disaster, in times of great need for classrooms, for space, and for responses to unforeseen emergencies. Thank you, uh, local government uh, units. But of course, most of the congratulatory uh, greetings of fall on the deserving uh, graduate. Each and every one of you is truly special. You are different from the other graduates who have passed through the portals of your school. You went to school practically without seeing your teachers, if at all. You went to school with your parents, your mothers, and your fathers hovering over your shoulders and seeing to it that you are able to complete your assignments. You are completing your studies at a time when examinations and assessments are different. You are culminating this uh, long months of, of hard work at this time, uh, even as you have to do family chores, even as you are distracted, and even as your world has turned upside down, and it seems and it appears as if we don't know what the future holds and what will happen next. But you have persevered and now you are ready to graduate. And therefore you deserve each and every bit of congratulations from us in the Department of Education, from your parents and family members, your teachers, from the officials in local government, as well as in the parent teachers associations. You deserve each and every single congratulatory pat on your back, each hug virtually, of course, and each greeting, which I am sure you are also receiving virtually. I don't know if uh, you will remember this event many, many years from now. 
I have tried to recall myself who our graduation speaker was when I finished high school and when I finished uh, my college studies. All I remember is that the graduation speaker was someone important, someone who was invited because that someone is supposed to give a message. What was more important to us graduates at that time was the excitement of the celebrations, the happiness and the joy of our parents, the sadness of parting from our classmates and from our teachers, and the enjoyment of all the graduation events that usually take place come commencement day. When I was a college student, we had a series of events which were designed to uh, embed in our minds, which were designed to help us remember and not forget our days in college. We would spend one whole day going around the campus, visiting the classrooms, saying goodbye to our teachers, and sharing our memories. We would have bonfires to say goodbye to each other. We had baccalaureate services where we committed ourselves to God and we prayed for guidance when we go out into the world. So many celebrations and the speaker, of course, is the least important and easily forgotten component of the graduation um, exercise. Nonetheless, I will uh, exert all efforts to share with you what I see are things or issues which a graduate uh, should uh, remember and recall. I have said that you are very special. You are very different. You are pioneering. There has been no other class like your class. There has been no other graduate like you as a graduating student because you are the very first graduate of the blended learning response to education uh, in the Philippines. And so you ask yourself, what awaits you in the world outside? You can either work because the kind of curriculum you survived and underwent as a student will enable you to go to work if you wish to go to work. Some of you will proceed to further studies and this would be a wonderful thing because there are many opportunities for further expanding your knowledge, for further answering and looking for explanations of issues, events that, are, that make you curious, especially in science, in technology, and also uh, in the arts. So you can work, you can go to further uh, studies, and perhaps some of you will settle down, uh, hopefully not too soon, so you can pursue what you really want to do. So today, this is why we call it, we call this exercise a commencement exercise. It's not the end of our studies. It's not the end of all our efforts with blended learning, with modules, with floods, with earthquakes, and of course, with COVID. It's a commencement of doors opening to you. More doors will be open because you are a graduate. You can work, you can proceed for further studies, you can help your parents 
and you can perhaps look for opportunities to do what you have always wanted to do, whether at work, whether at advanced studies, whether at learning more in science and technology, in mathematics and in the arts. All of these opportunities are available to you. More doors are being opened. I hope you will select the door which arouses your curiosity, the door which will help you know more about this world, and the door which will allow you to contribute to the development of our country and contribute whatever we can to solve our problems and our challenges. Congratulations once more to each and every one of you. Congratulations to you, parents and family members. Congratulations to you, teachers. When I was chair of the board of Silliman University, each time we had graduation ceremonies during the baccalaureate and during commencement itself, I would cry. I would cry because you are sending out into the world a new batch of, of graduates. And we want to be sure that what is awaiting them is appropriate. We want to be sure that they are ready for what awaits them when they select which door to open. And so we tell you, go out to the world, do whatever you want to do. God be with you and be sure, be assured that all of us love each and every one of you. Congratulations. Mr. Alan N. Reyes, the Faculty Club President, will now give the closing remarks. To our OIC Schools Division Superintendent, Dr. Maria Irelin P. Tamayo, our ASDS, Dr. Fernandina P. Ochenko, to our PSDS, Dr. Walter Estabillo, and to our school principal, Madam Casarina L. David, to the teaching force of Aksai, proud parents and guardians, and of course, to our dear junior high school computers, a pleasant morning to all of you. My heart is full of happiness and pride. As we close this memorable event, our moving up ceremony, the day where all our students' effort in waking up early, studying, and doing their last outputs and projects were all paid off. This is also a moment where all our parents and guardians were longing for, to reap what they saw in guiding and supporting their students' education. To our school principal and fellow teachers who gave their best in molding their students of whom they are today and days to come. Above all, I would like to thank our Almighty God who always shower us with blessings. To end this, I would like to give you a quote that dreams won't work unless you do. And so, you need to work hard and reach all your dreams. Once again, congratulations to our computers. Thank you and God bless us all. Enjoying success requires the ability to adapt. Only by being open to change will you have a true opportunity to the most of your talent. The world has changed. It is up to you to rebuild what is still left. May your community and education be your priority. This has been your Master of Ceremony, Mrs. Sandy Fatima C. Miklat. Congratulations and God bless us all. So, um, yung batch namin, um, it's been a tough four years. There have been many downs, pero nangibabaw pa rin yung ups. 
And there's a famous quote that says that the journey is more important than the destination. But I disagree. It's the people that stay after reach the destination that are most worth it. And they are the best batch I could have ever asked for. This is our last time Let's not Kamali Kasi wala nang bukas Sulitin natin ito na ang wakas Kailangan na yata natin umuwi Hawakan mo aking kamay Bago tayo maghiwalay Lahat-lahat ibibigay Paalam sa ating huling saya May tulo pala ang langit Kaya't sabay tayong bitaw Sa ating huling saya Science High School would like to announce that the distribution of cards, certificates, and medals is scheduled on July 23, Friday, for the grade 10 level. Please observe the IATF protocols and time when claiming your child's documents. Likewise, the schedule of the distribution of cards and certificates for grade 7 is on July 30, grade 8 and grade 9 both on July 29. The Angela City Science High School would like to thank the following. The Schools Division of Angela City. The Aksai Mother Parent Teachers Association. The Aksai Faculty Club. The Aksai Tech Team. And the Aksai Grade 10 Teachers and Students. <laughs>